Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to learn a concept in Playwright that is projects. Like usually we have to do cross-browser testing, right? That means like uh, running the same test script with multiple uh, browser, right? It can be like Chromium, Firefox, WebKit, or maybe also the device. When I say device, that means like some kind of like mobile web page. Okay, so we are just going to do the emulation. We are not going to run in the uh, physical device rather it's just going to create like emulation okay so let's get started now and let's see how to uh, do that so here i'm going to use the page of the model test form dot um, test dot yes the file name and within the described block i have two tests one is like login positive that will log in and do some ver verification and it will click on the sign out and second test is also same but here we are just going to do the login nothing else here okay so we have two tests within the test.describe block so if i execute this of course it's going to execute only in the chromium browser uh, if i go to my playwright config file here you can see like uh, we have the okay we don't have the browser name but by default it is going to execute in the uh, chromium only right now what we are going to do is we are going to introduce the projects okay so let me show you the documentation first yeah so here is the documentation you can say like uh, if you want to run the same test in different configuration then we have to use the projects okay so let's copy this thing like the whole array and here before the use i'm going to put it here okay it can be anywhere doesn't matter but yeah and here we have to import this device just give like click on that particular devices and control dot and then you just give enter that will do the uh, import thing okay so here you can select where uh, name can be anything it's not necessary you should give the same uh, like browser name it can be anything but make sure you are able to understand like what browser is this okay so this is like chromium firefox and the webkit and here we are using the spread operator uh, like to attach the uh, devices okay i mean the browser actually so here it's like dex desktop chrome desktop firefox and desktop and desktop safari okay so of course it's not a mac machine so safari in the sense it is going to execute in the web kit okay now if i go to my test here you can see like we have two tests right so both the test it's going to run in all the three browsers that means like two into three totally six tests will be there okay so let's bring our terminal control j and here i'm going to say like npm um, test okay So here you can see like it's basically trying to run the test uh, with the workers of three and by default it will execute in the parallel mode. So here you can see like running six test uh, using three workers. Okay, workers is basically like your um, parallel like how many instance you want. Okay, so here you can select we have got the uh, WebKit and here we got the Firefox and here we got the Chromium. Okay, so all the three. Uh, like all the six tests are running in the parallel mode in all the three browsers okay so here it's going to complete the first test then it will start with the second test so one is completed in chrome so it's going to execute in the second in the chrome in this uh, like it's the second test and then it will start with the other test so here you can see like another web kit has uh, launched and this is basically running my second test and another firefox is lost it is which is also running my second test okay so the number of tests you have based on that it is going to execute in all the three browsers but let's say that we don't have to run all the three in a parallel mode rather we want to run in sequential or like i can launch up to two browsers at the same time then we can use the workers okay so here you can see like four passed and uh, two got failed uh, let me bring the reporter okay so uh, we have to say like npx playwright or else we can browse it from the file explorer let's go to the report and see what is the failure so here you can see like a uh, two test failed uh, in firefox browser and another one in the webkit so if i click on this i can see like uh, okay there is some timeout issue like we have to increase the timeout so that it will pass so not a big deal i hope you understood the timeout problem okay 
the another one is also same timeout problem so that's it uh, no need to worry about it okay now let's say that we want to execute only in like two browser at the same time or one browser at the same time right so for that we can use the workers here and here you can give like in you know, like how many parallel execution you want in case if a mouse or on this you can see like the maximum number of concurrent worker process to use in parallelizing paralyzing test okay so if i run this now what will happen in the sense like it will run the test one by one so totally like six test using one worker so one test will run uh, in a time okay so first it will execute in the chrome firefox and then the safari i mean webkit And if you remember in our last video, we discussed like how to maximize the Chromium, right? But here, if you see that maximization is not working, right? Because uh, within the projects, we cannot set the viewport as null. So that is the only issue here. Okay. I don't know if there is any other solution. Probably I will come up with that or else uh, we'll ask in the player at GitHub page. Okay. You can set the viewport but you cannot set the viewport as null when the viewport is null then the launch option that is like uh, let me show you that let the test run so here we are setting the viewport as null and then here we are setting like launch option equal to start maximized uh, but unfortunately within the use right so this also use this also use this uses like global whereas this is for particular test with particular configuration so here if i try to do something like um, viewport colon null then it will end up with an exception okay so maybe you can just give it a try i will remove this as of now okay and uh, all the tests got passed and that's it fine okay now here actually we have a problem okay so for example let's say that i want to execute in the chromium and also i'm going to execute in a mobile device okay so here i'm going to say like let's say that it's going to be my pixel device and here i'm going to say like um, pixel with like maybe five yeah five with portrait okay you can execute in portrait as well as in landscape okay now if you go back to the script here you can say like when we uh, let's take only one test for now so i'm going to make this like test dot only that means this particular test only going to execute so here within the uh, first we'll go to that particular site and we'll click on the login link right so if i go back to my browser and if i go to the site so here you can select we have this login button so the click action will work right but if the if the browser is going to minimize or it's going to be viewed from the mobile how it will work in the sense like we'll get this hamburger icon right so we have to click on that and then we have to click on like uh, sign in or sign out right then only it will work okay so let's see how to fix that as well before that let me execute and show you like of course it's going to fail so it will execute in the chromium there is no issue but when we are going to execute in the pixel device as emulation then it will got it will get failure okay so let's see so first it's running in the chromium browser and here you can see like it went to the login page it did the login fine right and it got passed now let's see with the emulation so here you can see like the mobile screen right basically the mobile screen will look something like this right so here the problem is sign in button is not there i mean it's there but it is inside this one so if i click on this now you can see it got uh worked right it worked right so we are going to fix that how to fix that is very simple solution in playwright so let's go to this particular um click login okay so this is basically within my um header page right so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to check like is this a mobile or not okay 
So I'm going to receive this in the constructor like case mobile and this is going to be of type uh, as of now let it be any okay now uh, let's go to our fixture okay so we are using the fixture concept right so if i go to my fixture dot ts file uh, yeah base page this is the fixture we are using right what we are going to do is we are here we are going to get the s mobile okay so s mobile is a uh, property uh, like it will tell us whether the view port is in the mobile or not okay so here i'm going to pass the same okay and if you see the type is like um, it's a boolean okay it's a boolean basically so here what can i do is instead of any i can say like it's going to be boolean okay and let's bring the same here so here i'm going to say like yes mobile and that's going to be of type boolean and here also i'm going to say like this dot uh, s mobile equals s mobile uh, it's just a parameter's name it can be like anything is mobile is mob here and here it's basically is mobile which is your type okay so here why we are getting error because we have to save the page okay now let's go and it can be boolean and undefined that's why we are getting some er error but i think uh, that is fine so here what can we do is we can say like uh, like let's make it like boolean or undefined okay now that should be fine and we are going to repeat the same in the constructor as well okay now so there is no compile time error so that's fine right so here we are getting the is mobile like similarly we are getting the page uh, from the uh, fixture we are using the is mobile which is going to return as true or false okay so if i go to the header page now here also i'm getting the same right so what we have to do this is the function which is going to click right so i can write if condition here like if that's going to be like mobile view then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, click on the hamburg a hamburger menu right so let's go and inspect this one okay i have to minimize this yeah so let's go and inspect this guy and if i go to this so here i can select it has a label called menu so i'm going to copy that and here i'm going to say like uh, this dot page dot click and i'm going to pass my xpath and of course the await okay so what will happen in the sense like when the viewport is in the mobile format, we'll click on this hamburger menu and then we'll just click on the uh, login text. Okay. Now let's go to our terminal and I'm going to execute. And just to show you this value, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, print it here. So console.log. So it's first uh, running the Chromium browser. Um, so there won't be any issues like it should give the is mobile as false. So here you can see the console log is mobile uh, view false. Okay. Next time it's going to run in the mobile view. So now it's going to return as true and it's going to click on the hamburger menu and then it will do the login. Okay. So that's it. It's very, very easy actually. So if you see the console log, you will be able to understand. Okay. So this is the one thing uh, i learned recently like uh, if you're going to execute the page in desktop and the mobile version then of course like here i have like only one element so it's not a big deal but you know your page better so wherever the mobile view is there you have to write this condition and based on that you have to do it okay so it's very simple thing just like uh, in your base page if you're using fixture you can get this here like that if you're directly using your test file like we mostly get the page from the fixture right similarly you can get the is mobile as there as well okay so that's it now you might ask me hey koshik you have like uh, chromium and fire and pixel but what if i want to execute only the chromium not the pixel of course i don't want to comment it in the config file right 
So we have a solution for that if you go to the documentation. Like here you can say like npx player at test dash dash project equal to chromium. Like you can give the dash dash project equal to like whatever it is. Like here I have pixel. So if I give pixel, then it is going to execute only those particular tests. Like yeah. And that's it. Okay. So if you have any further queries, do let me know in this comment. I will have be to clear it up. And of course, go through the documentation. Here we have like retries. If there is any failure in the mobile version or in the desktop version, you can implement the retry. There are a lot of options. Just go through the documentation. It is going to be very, very simple and easy. Okay. So that's it from my side. Thanks for watching. See you the next one very soon.